Please welcome to the stage, Truby Dylan Smith! <laughs> Big guy coming through. <laughs> uh, Truby is, of course, playing Daisy the Barbarian. That's right. Barbarian by name, barbarian by nature. <laughs> Don't interrogate that. <laughs> uh, just as good as my Suez Canal metaphor. Yes, indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Next, please welcome to the stage, Karen So. Uh, Karen is going to be playing Limpet the Cleric. Yes. Yes. Um, I'm a cleric who lived in a cave, but now I live in a boat. <laughs> and you seem pretty happy with it. Yeah, well, it's like being next to the water versus being on the water. Mm. This gets better and better for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next up, uh, please welcome Henry Nelly! <laughs> Henry is, of course, playing Norman the Barbarian. Hello. Uh, the, was it 96 96, old? that's right. 97 next month. <laughs> that's exciting. Um, we've got two barbarians in our party because, uh, you know, balance is important. <laughs> um, okay, we have uh, one more adventurer to meet. Uh, so, please welcome Phoebe Hood! <laughs> Phoebe is, of course, playing Plank, a sentient piece of wood. <laughs> yep. Because, again, balance in the party is important. <laughs> we have a, a few more people helping us. Uh, we are joined by Andrew Keppel, who will be providing live illustrations to accompany everything that happens. He's somewhere at the back of the room. A uh, round of applause for Andrew Keppel. <laughs> And we also have Michael and Will who are taking care of all of the technical aspects of it. A uh, round of applause for Michael and Will. I also uh, later on have a critical role graphic novel to give away, kindly provided by our lovely sponsors, Comics Compulsion. So um, if, you, if you play your cards right, this could be coming your way. And if you play your cards wrong, I don't know how to finish that uh, <laughs> Shall we, shall we get into our adventure? Okay. I think we should. Andrew, could we bring up the map? Oh. Our, our story uh, started uh, a couple of adventures ago uh, when four heroes were transported from their everyday lives and reappeared uh, in the middle of a battleground. Uh, they journeyed uh, from that battleground, they reunited... Uh, they or united two warring families and then set off through uh, a tunnel in the mountains. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Daisy, you were a member of that group, weren't you? That's right. You were... <laughs> <laughs> in, an, in an attempt to try and find your way home uh, to wherever you were transported from... Uh, ancient Grome is my home. <laughs> in order to ancient. try and get back to Ancient Grome... Uh, <laughs> You were told to seek out the Lord over the mountains. Indeed. And you were told to take a secret tunnel through the mountains. I remember it well. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> That's good. I, uh, <laughs> this recap wasn't entirely for your benefit. Oh, oh I see. I see. Um, <laughs> Of course, you were with uh, the, some, some other adventurers, Irma the Mermaid, uh, Hank Frisch, um, and, um, of course, Creek. Yes. 
not the most conventional of companions, but they are helping me through this tunnel. So, could you just uh, describe a moment of your journey through the, the tunnel? A moment, yes. Uh, I have been relegated as the strongest member of the party to pushing Irma the Mermaid in a wheel barrow full of water <laughs> to make sure she can sustain her life. We're four days into this subterranean journey. I lost my cowbell. <laughs> Indeed, thank you for your sympathy. It was with the help of Hank Fresh the most rootinous, tootinous cowboy that ever did walk, whatever the names of these realms are, <laughs> helped me find my cowbell again. And inside, the picture of my son that I really thought I'd lost. The rest of the travel with us went without incident, and I have to say, despite not believing it ever could happen, those three had begun to grow on me. Creek's really weird, though. <laughs> The four of you make it through the tunnel and arrive in a small town called Mossport, which is nestled uh, in the mountains. Mm. Uh, Mossport gets its name from, first of all, the moss, and second of all, from the port. Oh, <laughs> I see. And pulling into that port is a sailing ship known as the Peapod. Uh, do I notice it? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> what, what's so distinguishing about this people? I presume there's many ships pulling up, pulling up. <laughs> well, if we if we just pause for a moment, oh, um, if we must. Another group of four adventurers were transported from their homes and found themselves suddenly appearing in the middle of the ocean, where they were rescued by the same ship, the you people. Be right. Hey, mm. careful! Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Uh, rescued by that ship. Uh, you travelled across the ocean, uh, were almost eaten by a, a giant tongue monster. Um, Sorry, a hung monster? Tongue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we couldn't see what was going on. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just to be clear, great. So, uh, the three of you uh, and your other companion, uh, Russell Scarecrow, um, we are uh, journeying on this boat, uh, eventually arriving in Mossport. But I'd like to hear from you also, first of all, um, who, who you are and, and what, what's something that you did to fill the time on your ocean journey. Uh, Limpets. Hello. Yes, ah, I was on the boat uh, and I was eating some chips and I saw a whale. <laughs> I've never seen a whale before, and it was really beautiful. And it did that thing where its tail goes, boop. And I, I was like waving. And I, I spilt my chips everywhere. <laughs> thank, thank you very much, Limpet. Uh, Norman? I was just sitting there during my time. I, in the seat in front of me, I saw a, the, um, the in-ship magazine, Ahoy. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I, um, I did the Sudoku. And that <laughs> I had a pencil, though, so it was good. I sometimes get the numbers wrong. Could you make an intelligence roll? <laughs> Eleven. Lef yeah, I sometimes get the numbers wrong. <laughs> but sometimes I get them right. <laughs> All right, thank you, Norman. Uh, Slank, uh, what did you do with your time on ship? I got a nice new lacquer. <laughs> um, I drank some of the shipmates under the table. <laughs> uh, I had a very brief and intense relationship with a broom handle. <laughs> if I had feet, she would have swept me off them. <laughs> yeah. That's about it. Yeah. Okay, sounds like a very fulfilling uh, time on ship. Uh, it was. I'm going to give you each a point of inspiration um, for your descriptions. Okay. Anytime during the, the night, you can use that to re-roll a dice. The four of you meet up in Mossport. You, you run into each other and quickly... <laughs> 
quickly this, discover that you have uh, a goal in common, that you are all uh, people who have been transported from you, wherever you came from to this new place and that you're all trying to get home. Hmm. Trying to make your way home, are you? Yep. What's that? A workshop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, you'd think you'd be a bit more, you know, be something a bit more exciting, but no. I see. Yeah. Right. And Mine's a dinghy meant to set me on fire, so, you know, we're not all rushing to get home. <laughs> That's right, you were interrupted in your Viking funeral, That's weren't right. you? That's <laughs> right. How we real barbarians go out. <laughs> oh. Wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> Just say that last bit no, again. No, don't, don't read too far into that. <laughs> Why would this guy have an opinion on barbarians? <laughs> because I clearly am one. <laughs> oh, oh, right, 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 right. Oh, you, you, are, you, are, you must be one of those old school barbarians, eh? That's right. I trained at the school of hard knocks. I see. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Forgive me. I uh, haven't had the pleasure. Hmm. And uh, this one. Oh, I, I was looking in a rock pool. <laughs> I see. Where do you come from? A cave. <laughs> I um, I make too much noise with my thunder magic, so the the villagers kick me out. Oh, I see. Yeah. Right. I feel but like Indian Creek will get on very well. Uh, possibly. Yeah. I do yes. like I like creeks. I like brooks, rivers, <laughs> pretty much any body of water. I see. All oh, right, and uh, so you lost trying to get home as well. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Well, we have common cause. There's one <laughs> other important feature of the town of Mossport, and that is that it has a train station. Huh. Where do you suppose that goes? The, the famous Frostbend Express Ooh. takes you all the way, uh, well, it would take you all the way to Bronzewall, uh, which is the home of Lord Everblessed, sometimes known as the Lord over the mountains, the mountains. sometimes known as the Lord over the seas. <clears throat> Wait, how, how does he get to be both? <laughs> Because that's a lot of lording to do. He must be pretty impressive, you think to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is around this train station? Is it... What time of day is it? Okay, so let's... Uh, uh, let, let's speed things up a little bit. First of all, uh, so, your four companions who are not sitting at this table, uh, Irma, Creek, Hank and Russell, all managed to have all managed to sneak aboard the train two days ago. However, there wasn't enough room for the four of you, and so you had to wait for the next train. Oh, God. You now find yourselves uh, hiding amongst the stacks of crates, some waiting to be loaded on, some being loaded off the train, looking for an opportunity to sneak onto the train. You don't have any money that is recognised in this place. Oh. Do they accept that? It looks they do not accept the concept of inspiration. <laughs> Shame that. Um, I say, oh, hey, where did Plank go? Hello. Oh. <laughs> so I just can't do that or blend into things. Uh. Um, do they, is there a specific time that this train is leaving? Oh, um. <laughs> no, it's one of those trains that just goes when it feels like oh. it. <laughs> just thought if we could check a timetable, it might give us a bit of an idea of how no, much... I think it's now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was, a, the, there was the, the whistle that tells you that the train's going to oh, leave in about ah. uh, five minutes. Okay, <laughs> well... At then... that moment, uh, you hear uh, a cry. Uh, help! Help! Somebody help me! Who was it? <laughs> well, you can't see because there's all these kind of oh, the, these of stacks of crates almost form a, a kind of a maze. A what? <laughs> <laughs> Perdon. 
Um, um, I, um, I, I leave my body. <laughs> I touch a wall, <laughs> and and I just leave my body, and I, I just, um, how big is this maze? Does it feel? Um, what is it made out of? So tell me, speak to me, dungeon master. <laughs> All these stacks and stacks of crates in rows form a kind of maze. It's not too hard to navigate, especially for someone uh, with your skill in mazes being a minotaur. <laughs> um, I do what I need to do. I form a human... I form a... a thing chain <laughs> <laughs> with um, these three. Um, and then I put my hand on one wall and I walk until I find the exit without removing my hand from the wall. <laughs> That's how you solve a labyrinth. Oh, it's very good, yes. Yeah. So you, you, find, you, you follow around a few twists and turns, and then you see uh, a halfling. He's um, circling around a, a, a set of crates because he's trying to keep away from four desperate-looking ruffians. Uh, these ruffians are all holding uh, knives, some with blood on them. Oh, oh no. Their blood? Uh, yes, you see one of them is like uh, cutting himself just to show how tough Whoa. he is. But also there's a body on the ground. Oh no. Uh, the, the halfling uh, sees you. Hey, but you, you gotta help me, you gotta help me. Please, please, I'll pay you. Well, how much money are you going to pay us to save you? Uh, one, of the, one of the ruffians turns towards you. And says, hey, just, just clear off. This is our, this is our prize. Prize what? The, prize, uh, the guy is the prize? Uh, yeah. Can, can I do What are you, stupid? Oh, what? <laughs> what did you call me? I may be a plank, but I'm not dense. I might be three-ply. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm thick. Okay. Can I do vicious mockery? Is this a, is this a battle? Can I do that? I think that you're going to need to roll initiative. Oh. Oh, right. Ooh. I got 20. I got two. <laughs> oh, this, uh, this perfectly aligns, so we're going to start uh, with Norman and we're going to work down the line this way. So you've got zero. zero. I, have no, I have negative two initiative. <laughs> so you're still trying to articulate your comeback. What's wrong? Uh, I would have been better, it would be good when you get. I hope it'll be good when you get me. <laughs> I'm gonna think quickly. So there are four ruffians. Four ruffians. And a crate, and then a halfling. Yes, the halfling is the furthest from you. Oh no. The ruffians are between you and the halfling. Oh right. Um. Okay. Um. I look at the at the ruffian closest to me, and I I just throw my axe. The, the train's leaving soon. I can't do anything funnier than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do I have to roll right. That's a one. <laughs> oh, but they get a... <laughs> Nice throw! Bet, bet that makes you a bit perturbed, Norman. <laughs> oh yeah, it's just perturbed. Um. <laughs> okay, yes, uh, the, the axe kind of drops out of your hands and clatters to the ground at, at your feet. Just getting it ready, are you? <laughs> Do a test throw first. <laughs> Limp it! Alright, well, I'm going to run out into the middle of the ruffians and I'm going to uh, like run my hands together and then go clap and make a big thunder wave wash out from me to, to knock them all back. Alright, uh, do they have to make saving throws? Um, yes they do. And what's the... Disease? Constitution. Um, and I'll find the number. 
Okay. I'll, I'll just roll and you get back to me. Okay. It's Nearly there. <laughs> I've got it. Thirteen. All right. Uh, and what happens to the, those who fail the roll? Um, they get to they take the damage. It is two d eight thunder damage, um, and they get pushed ten feet away. Oh, and unsecured objects are also pushed ten feet away. So the crates are going to go everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, okay. Oh. Okay, there is absolute... Uh, I think you are also going to have to make some saving throws. Oh, okay. Um, which sort? Well, which of these... Uh, constitution, wasn't it? Yes. Huh. I'm a big boy. <laughs> 20. <laughs> I got seventeen. All right, yes. you you stand yeah. firm uh, as the yes. thunder explodes around you, uh, shattering some of the crates, sending three of these ruffians flying through the air. Um, oh, and ah, but the the halfling and one of the ruffians uh, keep their footing. The ruffian who's still standing um, grabs hold of the halfling and starts running away with him in the, pa- in the path cleared in these crates. And the halfling is saying, Come on, you're going to help me! <laughs> now, Daisy, you talk a big game. <laughs> <laughs> so how big's this ruffian? <laughs> oh, he's big. He's like six feet tall. Oh. <laughs> But he's not seven feet tall, is he? <laughs> well, he doesn't have horns. No, he doesn't. Um, how far is he from me? Uh, as he's running away, I'd say he's about 30 feet away. Oh, right. Um, I, um, um, I, um, I kind of, I level my head at him and I go, <laughs> and I kind of like kick up some dirt and then I fully barrel towards him. Um, and, um, and this I kind of put away for this, for the moment. <laughs> um, and, it, and I, um, charge towards the guy. Um, and I, um, and I, um, and I try to gore him with my horns. Um, yes. Do I have to roll for that? Yes. Okay, yes. Right. Okay, yeah, yeah, here we go. Um, 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 19. Woo! You send him. You send this ruffian flying, and the halfling is thrown up into the air. He tumbles through the air and then lands gracefully on your back. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, hey. Thank you. Now that's what I call service. <laughs> now, onwards, and he like kicks his. Uh, <laughs> You are mistaken. <laughs> Some may think I'm a bull. I'm a minotaur. Half bull, half man. Oh, uh, sir, I didn't mean to offend you, but uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, he, he glances down at the, the body on the ground. Uh, I kind of need a new bodyguard. What? I'm about to get on the train. I'm, I'll buy you all tickets. Why don't you come with me? I don't know, I feel like the ruffians might have been onto something. I don't like this man very much. No, but he's going to buy us a ticket, you see. I'd... It might be worth it. You're going to buy us a ticket and also pay us for saving you. That's right. Oh, cool. That's, that's all I got. He, he pats a, a large satchel that he has hanging at his side. Don't worry, I'm good for it. It sounds like he's patting something. What is it? (laughs) You can't tell just from the sound of the pat (laughs) what is contained in the section. Okay, right. Oh, okay. Is it plausibly money? (laughs) It's plausibly money. I um, I kind of like um, shuffle about. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, oh, so <laughs> oh, oh, the train is uh, is starting to starting to move. What? Um. Well, have you already bought the tickets? Do you buy them on the train? I'm confused about how the train ticket transaction. Yeah, don't works. worry. I'll, I'll pay the conductor. Oh, okay, okay. Then let's get on the train. 
All right, you managed to... <laughs> were you throwing him onto the train? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I presume he's aware. Yeah, you, you launch him through the air and he lands um, uh, gracefully on the steps of the, the train uh, and climbs in. All right, uh, you too. Gestures wait, for you. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! Is there well, a ravine? Oh. If, that, if that's how we're doing it, then I'll need acrobatics rolls. Oh. <laughs> all right, come on. All right, come on. Limp it, you're next. Oh, my acrobatics is like negative one. Oh, uh, it's a ten. <laughs> I got a le- Wait. Eleven. Thirteen. Yeah, I just piled them up. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, yeah. All right, so, Norman, uh, you managed to land somewhat unsteadily on your feet in the carriage. Um... Plank, you kind of like rattle between the, the walls back and forth a little bit. And um, uh, yeah. Limpet, you, you mostly make it through the doorway. Yeah, I'm not good on land. You kind of um, slam into um, the, the door frame as you go through and you take three damage. And then uh, I think an athletic roll from you. All right. Come on, big boy. Um, 18. 18, Whoa. yes. You stride powerfully <laughs> along the platform uh, and uh, grab hold of the, the, the bar and, and pull yourself in just as the <gasps> Frostbend Express is pulling out of the station. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> Sharpshank. What? I'll be Sharpshank. I'll be sharp, Tate. That's right. Now, a lot of people are after me because I've got something pretty valuable. What is it? He looks around, and then he lifts up the flap of his satchel, and you see inside a diamond as big as his head. How, how big is his head? <laughs> <laughs> Sim- similar size to mo- like average sized head. But uh, for a half. For a halfling. Still, still. I guess it's quite big for a diamond. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's diamonds go. It's big. Hmm. Well. That's a very. That diamond is very big. It's, oh. I mean. The diamond's very big! Where did you purchase that? <laughs> purchase it? I found it! In the, like, in underground? In somebody's house? It's not a blood diamond, is it? <laughs> You're asking a lot of questions for bodyguards. I'm morally against that. <laughs> now, just, just play it cool and don't let anyone steal from me. And I'll pay you handsomely. I've got a buyer lined up in, uh... In uh, bronze war. Was he like pausing like he couldn't remember or was making it up or was that or Brendan? I couldn't remember. <laughs> 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 All right, Mr. Money, no further questions from me. So, if your assets are yet to be liquidated, how are you going to pay the conductor? <laughs> You're going to just chip a bit off? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry, I, I, have, I have some some liquid funds, as it were. Okay. We're going to need an advance. <laughs> Do you have any gold we need in advance? He reaches into uh, his another pocket, pulls out a, a purse, and gives you each a gold coin. Ooh. Oh. 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 Lovely. Now, don't spend it all at once. Or do, I don't care. There's only one of it. How do I... How do I spend bits of it? <laughs> you make your way now <laughs> into the uh, the restaurant car of the train, uh, and uh, here you're going to meet some of the other passengers on the train. So first of all, uh, you see the conductor. He's wearing a, a blue uniform. He has ash, uh, kind of grey skin, and um, there's like smoke wafting under his nose, forming a moustache. Does he look ill or like that's his thing? That's his thing. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> it's cl- what? Smoke? 
I'm confused Again, by this. Again, you are a sentient piece of wood. You can't really judge anyone else. <laughs> I've never left the workshop. So he's just, he's just got a, he's okay, got yeah, like cool. smoke. Yeah, for, for good. A, I'll, yep, I'll commit to the fantasy. Elby <laughs> uh, goes over to him and um, hands over a few coins. Uh, the conductor uh, hands him a few tickets and everything seems to be settled. Hmm. All right. Might as well wrap this one up here, Brendan. We're on the way. <laughs> is it like, is it a la carte or is it a buffet? It's a buffet. I oh, pick up a tray. <laughs> you don't have any flamingo carcasses stuffed with bits of liver and hedgehog and other disgusting things, do you? Is that what you want? Yeah, if you've got any. Um, let's see. Yeah. Yes, there is some. Fantastic. Okay, do it. Have you, uh, linseed oil? Just that. <laughs> Uh, there's not any on the buffet. Oh. Uh, I'll just have a glass of white wine. As you, uh, as you're making your way along the buffet, you bump into, um, a man in a, in a wheelchair. Oh, I'm so sorry! I wasn't looking where I was going. Yeah, so I guess he's slightly lower down. Um, he... Looking at his skin, he has kind of a, a scaly complexion. Is he sick or is this thing? <laughs> and he also has a kind of a, like a mask with a tube going on. And he goes, hey, watch where you're going. Okay. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Limpet. I have a ticket and it's legitimate. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you just got off of the train. I was worried you were going to make it late. Got an important cargo to deliver. Oh, what's your cargo? Tongues. <laughs> got an amazing haul of tongues. Oh, no. Washed up on shore. No. <laughs> name's, name's Carter. Burke Carter. Meat Baron. So what was your first name? Burke. Burke. Meat Baron. I'm a Meat Baron. <laughs> <laughs> Did you choose that for yourself? That's my, that's my title. I'm, I, deliver, I deliver meat. Meat? Why am I talking like you now? <laughs> oh, that sounds um, very exciting. Well, Burke, it's lovely to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Norman. Uh, and uh, Burke snaps his fingers. And uh, um, a man in a, a black suit and a bowler hat comes in and wheels him away. Hi. Hmm. Um, as you gather your food and try to find a seat, uh, you see sitting across from you is a, an elderly woman with black skin and white hair and a prim bun. Uh, she has an enormous uh, like hoop skirt and... Uh, all her clothes are, are black as well. Uh, and she is uh, reprimanding the conductor. I asked you to turn up the temperature. It's freezing in here. Mm. I quite agree. That's why I always wear my cardigan. Some people say, aren't you hot? But actually, no, I really am hot. Oh, finally. <laughs> Finally, someone who dresses sensibly around here. Uh, may I have a seat, madame? Oh, uh, yes, of course. Please, take a seat. <laughs> <laughs> Ma- Mary, Mary, move aside. Uh, her, uh, who is clearly her maid, um, Mary is, has uh, light blue skin uh, and uh, is carrying a large... Uh, handbag from which she grabs some knitting and starts knitting as if to try and knit a cardigan of her own. And where are you going, young man? (laughs) (laughs) Oh no! (laughs) Sorry, you made me blush. Um, um, We're heading to Bronze Town. <laughs> Is that right? 
Oh, Whoa. that's a check my ticket. Is that, is that near to Bronze Wall? That's the that's right. It's a very one. easy name to remember. I don't think <laughs> anyone would forget that. Yes, it's the Bronze Wall. That's right. I see. Do you have important business there? Ah, uh, yes. I'm trying to get high. Strapping young man like <laughs> you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to get home, actually, um, but I'm quite enjoying the journey so far. What is your name? Oh. Norman. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, yours, madam? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, the 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 um, the mate is. Oh, this is um, Dame Bower of Bower Tower. <laughs> Bower Tower. Yes, Dame Bower, the dower drow dowager from Bower Tower. <laughs> Wait, what was that again? What did you say? Dame Bower, the yeah. dower drow dowager from Bower Tower. Oh, it's very good, yes. <laughs> All right, Dame Bower, the dower, bower, bower dowager. Um, uh, is there a mister... Dame Bower. Dame Is there a Sir Bower Dower? <laughs> Dabow, you know. Mary, perhaps you would like to inform this fool what the word dowager means. <laughs> if you'd be so kind. <laughs> meet her, meet her uh, husband is, is dead. Yes, he passed away a mere 200 years ago. Hmm, right. So fresh, then. Yes. Yes, it's still a little sensitive. Uh, oh, well. So, it, but you are, oh, single. Uh -huh. I, I'm on a most important journey. <laughs> just, uh, just, you know, I just make a habit of asking everyone that I meet. <laughs> yes, okay, no further questions. Wait, oh. you, you didn't ask me. <laughs> I, yes. I suppose I, I didn't. But so you know, I am, yes. So back to this, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, tower thing. Um, boy, have you tried this, uh, oh, ten-year-old flamingo carcass? Oh, great. Norman, was it? Uh, yes, it was. <laughs> you know, ah, uh, you may in. <laughs> Just how it sounds. <laughs> You know, I feel like I feel like you would understand how how difficult one's relations can be. Oh, you're yeah, quite difficult, yeah. Yes, I do. I myself am on on a mission to break off uh, an importune marriage. Oh, I had one of those. So I married my wife, and it, she had this thing where she'd dress up like herself and. Act like a bitch all the time. <laughs> Back to <the> Norman. <laughs> oh, Norman. I remember my son. No, or was it? Oh, no, it wasn't. No, that was Walter's wife. No, Walter didn't like his wife. My wife was lovely. <laughs> Right. Oh, but we live through our children, don't we? Ah, yeah, we do. <laughs> yes, uh, my, my son is uh, uh, planning to make a very, very unfortunate marriage, so I'm, I'm going to go and break it off. What's wrong with it? Well, the, the bride, if I can call her that, is very low class. Oh, but does he love her? I don't see why that should be relevant. <laughs> All right. Family comes first. Indeed. Um, well, I, I, you look like someone who cares for their family. Well, it's true. I do. Got any children? <laughs> yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. Yes, yeah, so the wee calf. Oh, where is he? Uh, a long way from here, I presume. Actually, it's uh, been a wee while. I, uh, I'm well past you picking up from school now, but <laughs> <laughs> I hope Pa's picked him up. You can never really trust him. 
I really would like to get home sometime soon. I'm sure he'll be okay. Uh, thank you. One more figure bustles into the dining car. Uh, he's uh, a big rotund fellow with a, a puffy white beard. Uh, just, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry I'm late, but uh, uh, perhaps I should say grace. What? Well, if we're all, all eating rats, I should say, say a, a few words to Mother Sky to thank her for this bounteous feast. Oh, who are you? Oh, Father Cloud. Fa- Father Cloud. Fa- Father Cloud. Look. Father Cloud, eh? Uh, what, are you some sort of minister here? Oh, I, I suppose you could say something like that. Uh, clergyman, cleric. That, uh, that, yes, you, you clearly can say something like that. Uh, right, yes. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, what denomination? Who, who, who's your god? Who's your god? <laughs> <laughs> he, he steps back and his kind of enormous, like, bulbous hat kind of wobbles on his head. Uh, oh, uh, well, uh, b- b- Mother Sky. Mother Sky, who looks down on us all and smiles upon us. Oh, wow. How wonderful it must be <laughs> worshipping the sky. It is just air. <laughs> I could see as soon as you walked in, you were an airhead. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, dude, you can't say that these days. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> I'm a follower of the ocean. Which is heaps better. <laughs> um, Father Cloud suddenly looks kind of shifty and he goes over to the drinks table and uh, seems to pour himself a stiff drink. That told him. Elby <laughs> uh, comes back over. I see you've made yourselves at home. Yeah, that's yes. nice. Yes. The white wine is very dry. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to turn early. I had quite a quite a shocking day if you uh, know what I mean uh, yes you're yes. almost getting killed yes yes um just before you go um are we protecting you from anyone in particular I think there could be threats all around <laughs> right you can't narrow it down at all <laughs> <laughs> just keep your eyes peeled uh, just rewind it was a dead body <laughs> when we found you, wasn't there? Yeah, my bodyguard got killed by those ruffians. Okay, just be yeah, That's why I hired you. Oh, right. You're... Oh, right, I so see. they killed your body. Okay. Okay, okay. I be, that that I'd, tracks. I'd be devastated to lose someone. This is one of those trains that has lots of little rooms, isn't it? Yes. The, the seats in the yeah. room, right. So uh, he heads off to the, the sleeping <laughs> carriage, which has like, got like separate bedrooms. <laughs> Are we sleeping with him to make sure that he's safe? Uh, you, he is not, he, you haven't got a sleeping uh, uh, for you, so you are going to have to, uh, like, sleep on the seats. So he wants protection, but he didn't buy us a ticket for the sleeping car. Okay. Oh, I, we have a gold coin. But wait, but hang on, that's our advance. It's the money. It's the reason you get an advance is to spend it on things you need. Oh, I don't... Okay. Yeah, but this is... I see what you're saying. This, this is a is, business expense. This is, yes. This is not... Does that this mean it's tax deductible? <laughs> <laughs> What's tax deductible? <laughs> I've been keeping my receipts. <laughs> <laughs> I've never bought anything. <laughs> I don't know. This argument continues for some hours. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, into the early hours of the morning. Everyone else has drifted off and gone to bed, and the four of you are still debating what it me- what expenses means. <laughs> when the conductor staggers into the room uh, and collapses into your arms, Limpet. Ah! Good cat. Is there blood? No. Oh, no. He seems to just have gone pale with shock. He was pretty pale already, wasn't he? He, he was, he's even paler now. <laughs> you better... And he points uh, through towards the sleeping compartments. Well, if only we had a ticket to go back there. 
<laughs> he's the ticket man, isn't he? Yes. Oh, he like, he like your, oh, gets out some tickets and gives them to you. And then, as you start to, he calls you back and then he takes the tickets back off you and clips them. <laughs> That's good, that's good. I'm like a man who does his job. Yes, you know? yes. Mm. <laughs> um, towards the sleeping car. Yes. One of the doors is hanging open. As you round the... As hanging you, as an off its hinge? Uh, no, no, just open. Oh, it's like a jar. A jar. You turn, around, you turn around the corner, and inside the sleeping compartment, you see an ice sculpture of exquisite detail. Uh... It's of a halfling with one hand reached out seemingly towards you. That's oh. beautiful. Mm. No, oh no. Gosh. Where? That's the guy. Guys. <gasps> oh my god. What, what happened to him? Someone must have snapped by us while we were arguing outside his room. <laughs> Damn it. It's not a sculpture, is it? It's actually him, isn't it? Is it, is it him? Is Who are you it? asking? Make an investigation <laughs> roll. 13. Nine with... Oh, it was... uh, can I spend some time detecting magic? With my detect magic spell? <laughs> um, yes, you can. Um, I d- got 20. Okay. But not, yes, 20. You got a, a 20 on investigation. Plus, plus 20, plus 1. Alright. The detail is uncanny. Mm. Uh, it, it matches LB Sharpshank in every regard. Oh no. <laughs> um, with your particularly close look, you spot that there are two punctures on his neck. Oh, that's, that's insidious. And, and next to this ice sculpture is his satchel. Empty, but oh. soaking wet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thought you'd be into that. Sometimes. <laughs> oh no. Oh. You also see that the sculpture itself is starting to drip, drip, drip. Okay. Okay, I've got an answer, but it, there might be a weird loophole here. Um, I, ha- I can cast shape water, and one of the options is to freeze some water but only if no creature is in it. So if the ice is a creature, does that count? What if, what if you, what if we just got some water and you turn the water into ice and then we put the, the halfling dude into the ice? Would he melt? Put the ice on ice, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this, this, and then it navigates the... All right, all right. Yeah. I, um, uh, I, I, run off to the restaurant part of the garden and look for more ice. Okay, just to clarify, you can see straight through them. This is just ice. There's not a person covered in ice. No. Right, but it might be salvageable. Like, you it, know, if you cut a finger off, you've got to, you know, you can stitch it back on. It could be turned into ice. That's, yes. Yep. Uh, what, what's, what, what's, go, what, what's going on here? <gasps> what's going on here? Uh, you see uh, Bert Carter wheeling his, being pushed around by his, uh, his butler. Mm-hmm. What's, the, what's the meaning of this? No, oh, um, um, this, this guy's made out of ice. Well, this, this is ice, uh, nothing. We, we, we decided just... to make a miracle <laughs> statue. We, we're, it's beautiful. Um, I carved it myself <laughs> with um, my... <laughs> Hands. <laughs> but. Uh, <sighs> Make a deception roll <laughs> with disadvantage. Oh, what does that mean? You roll two dice and keep the lower. Oh, crap. <laughs> that three and two. <laughs> but wait, 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 wait. I have a, I have plus seven. So, seven, eight, nine. Uh, that's still not good, is it? <laughs> so you're saying you killed him? No! no I'm a piece of wood, I couldn't kill someone. <laughs> Did you hear anything? 
Oh, interesting. You're asking me questions now. Yeah, you get one, and then we get one. <laughs> <coughs> yes, I did hear something. I heard breaking glass. We really weren't paying attention. We're <laughs> <laughs> really invested about figuring out the advance thing. <laughs> But advance is money that you get in advance. So yes, that's exactly what I thought, yes. Um, okay, so you didn't hear anything, but did... Well, uh, okay. Um, uh, so what, how... what we can establish is that it appears that Albie has been frozen into a statue. Yes. His diamond is missing. Yes. Um, I look... Is there a window to this carriage? All right, so... The window is completely sealed. Mm -hmm. uh, but looking around, uh, there is a small like air vent that runs between the carriages. How small? Uh, about... Well, I probably couldn't crawl through it. No, a person couldn't crawl through it. Um, did my detect magic find anything no. out? No. There's no magic? No magic. So there's an air vent and uh, there's no like... I'm trying to think, is there nothing like hanging out of the event or like trails or? There are no trails hanging out of the event. So it's, okay. okay. What, what pose is it, do you said um, he was in some sort of pose. What, what exactly does he look like? Uh, if I was to guess, it would be someone who had just woken suddenly, uh, gotten out of bed and was reaching to open the door. Mm. But the, what the, was the door open when we got there? It was. Yes. Is there anything it had been on? opened by the conductor. Oh, no. Okay. Should we investigate what that broken mm. glass is? Mm. Where were you, wheelchair person? Your name is Burke Carter. Where were you, um... Uh, um like, just now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you this moment? I was in my room. Interesting. Write that down. And, and what made you come and check on, on Albie? All of you shouting just now? <laughs> Didn't you... Weren't you like... Blah, 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 and then you like fell into my arms? Are you thinking of the conductor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> I was trying to sleep. Oh. Mm. This is the dame? Says the dame. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, um, um, oh, uh, oh, oh, I don't know. Um, oh, good. You're all flustered. Somebody else deal with her. And I, oh, mm, Norman, and then I push her towards <laughs> Norman. <laughs> good, good morning. Um, sorry to wake you with uh, all this noise that we're making. Um, our, our friend, he... He lost something out of his man purse. <laughs> well, I'm sure I don't know anything about that. Oh, no, oh, no, I wasn't accusing you. No, you, no, no, no. But did, did you hear anything? Or see, did you, did any of your senses detect anything? <laughs> you know, sometimes you could smell people. <laughs> I try not to. <laughs> At that moment, the conductor, seemingly oh. having regained his composure, says, um, uh, perhaps everyone would like to uh, come through to the, uh, the, the uh, drinks car to have a, uh, a, a drink and we can discuss what happened. No, I already know exactly what happened. Oh, excellent. <laughs> then perhaps you'd like to uh, explain why you've asked us all here, etc., etc. Oh, yes, I do. Uh, so everyone goes through into the drinks car and arrays themselves. Um, Limpet, you take position by the fireplace. <laughs> it all became clear to me <laughs> when I encountered that sky priest <laughs> that he would be up to no good <laughs> because he's a sky priest <laughs> and he did it. <laughs> I mean, where is he now? Oh, well, I'm, right, I'm right here. Sorry, I'm late. I was... Praying. Were you? Yes. Was he? <laughs> Wait, who so are you asking? <laughs> Can I get an inside check? Uh, yes. 
Oh, no. Oh, 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 at nine? As far as you can tell, he was. He does still look quite dodgy, though. He does. Mm. Hmm. Did we leave Sharp, Sh- Sharp Shank back in the other card? Yes. We should get him and probably put him in some ice. He's going to melt. By the time you go back, uh, he is uh, about uh, 30% shorter and there's more of a puddle around him. This is in I put oh. the water back and freeze it roughly in what I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's some good thinking, Lumpet. Well done. Can I, can I handle the figurine? Yes. Um, I could also make myself into a, uh, a box of some description. To Daisy, could you, a, could, what, yes? Could you become one of those... You mean a dolly? Yes! Yeah, I guess. Okay, sure. You transform uh, yourself into a dolly. I'm a dolly. Um, <laughs> Daisy, I just want you to make a sleight of hand check, because it's a bit slippery. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, that's not good for my cloven hands. <laughs> um, 14. Okay, yes, it's a little bit shaky, but you managed to slip the, the statue onto the dolly, and you wheel it where? Uh, towards the, uh, there was food, so I drinks think that, the drinks cart. I think, yes. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm thinking, like, where there must be a cooler or something. You know, surely there's a, where there's food, there's a cooler. And so that's my, a that's fridge. my going. Yeah. Well, in, in, in fact, of course, there is a, there are refrigerated carriages on this, because it is being used by the meat baron to transport. Oh, we should put meat. it with the tongues. <laughs> I'm not going back with them. Are you over here, the conductor, um, talking? Uh, well, I suppose if if nothing was stolen, then there's no way to know who who the who the murderer was, if it even is a murder. Things were stolen. What? Yes, his satchel was empty. So it was stolen his laundry, or no? No, you didn't specify that we had to... You just said if something was stolen. We confirmed that there was something stolen. You just have to trust us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, not saying anything more then. Perhaps if you could find where it went, then you might know who took it. And probably the person who took it committed Did... the freezing Is I... it... Has anybody got, like, something on them that would hold a head-sized object? <laughs> You notice that, first of all, Father Cloud has an of enormous course. bulbous hat. <laughs> I whip it you off. Know, well, hold on no, a second. Even, no, even if it's highly offensive, I don't have to rip that thing off his head. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> okay, I, listen, I want you to make an unarmed attack. Oh, sure. Oh. I think you just add your strength. All right. Wow. Yeah, eleven. Okay, you miss the hat, but you essentially slap him across the face. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> um, he staggers back uh, into the wall, and his his hat bangs against like the overhead luggage oh, compartment. With a bang sound. There's a there's a, a tinkling sound. <gasps> as oh. his, and he quickly straightens his hat back on. Oh oh oh. I are we back? Jacques! Wait! <laughs> <laughs> are, are we, have, have we... Have we done our we, little... Are we back? Because I have an idea. Okay. Yes, you're back. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um, I have a suggestion. Can I politely suggest he removes his hat? Okay. Does he... <laughs> is he able to resist that? I cannot remember. <laughs> um, I, I, it just says I can make him do a thing. But I can't remember what the rest of the thing is. All right. Uh, well, what do you say to him? Um, um, um. S- Sky Father? No. Sky Priest. I'm very sorry for my friend's limpid's behaviour before. It is very disrespectful. I myself am a secular wood. But, um... <laughs> But I do respect everybody to practice their own um, religion and beliefs. Um, in this instance, I wondered if perhaps um, I could t- 
try on your hat? <laughs> it's very nice, and um, I think I have quite a large forehead, so, um, you know, it'd be good to kind of have something to cover it up now and again. He uh, seemingly uh, we're unable to, to resist. Uh, he takes off his hat and hands it to you. Uh, underneath the hat, as he lifts it up, is revealed a, an enormous uh, bottle of whiskey that he's got balanced oh. on top of his head. Oh. <laughs> oh. He's, he slumps down, he grabs the whiskey and takes a slug from it. Oh, it's no use pretending anymore. Mother Sky isn't talking to me anymore. Oh, it's okay. She's a false god. <laughs> Oh, that really doesn't make me feel any better at all. Sometimes you need salt in the wound if it's going to recover. <laughs> You're just going there, right? You're just going there. Um, where is the conductor at this point? Oh, he has wandered off. Ah, oh, mmm. I was wondering whether we should ask him what he saw, but he seems to have disappeared. Mm, who else is in this room right now? Yes. So we have Bert Carter in his uh, wheelchair. Uh, we have Dame Bower in her enormous hoop skirt. Uh, we have Mary the Maid with her large bag of knitting. We have the butler? Oh, uh, yes, and we have the butler in the bowler hat. I grab his hat! <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, make another uh, unarmed attack. <laughs> Way worse, that one. Worth three. Uh, he, he grabs your wrist and then punches you in the face. Uh, and you take six damage. I'm sorry, I got caught up at the moment. <laughs> That's all right, Limpet. Uh, you can have one of those. You can get a health point back with that. Yes, you can. You summon a Werther's Original, uh, which heals one hit point. It's sugar free, so don't eat too many or you'll shit yourself. <laughs> Now you have to do it once to know. <laughs> you, Mary and Dawa Bowager, you have spent this entire time together, have you? Yeah, yes, my maid never leaves my side. Mm. Is this true, Mary? Uh, yes. It's my job. Mm, I respect someone who does their job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, how was your rest this morning? Uh, how the last evening? Uh, down, would you? My rest? Mm. How did I sleep? Yes. It was too cold. I see. Chilly, eh? Yes. Mm. I fear I might catch a cold. Right. It is catching. You <laughs> are. So happened to Albie. Not used to these climbs, are you? In the train? Yes. No, I prefer it in the underdark. I see. Interesting. Who has the room next to the room that we found the ice sculpture in? So, uh, it's uh, Bert Carter on one side and Dame Bauer on the other. Ah. My, my lady, did you hear anything through the, the vent of the pipe? Did you hear any commotion? Oh, I suppose I heard glass shattering. Oh, you too heard glass. Well, I just thought someone had dropped a glass. Probably that alcoholic priest. Where has he gone? The priest? Hmm. I thought he's. There's no way I let him out of down my and sight took a slug. without watching where he went. Oh, okay. In that case, he has, uh, he has slumped uh, at one of the tables, uh, drinking from his whiskey. The event that we noticed, like, just from the bit of, like, uh, imagination. <laughs> Whose carriage would that have opened into? Oh, it would have run right along between all of the carriages. Mm. I feel like they've heard, we've heard two people that say they heard glass, but we haven't found any glass. Mm. We should find some of the glass. So maybe we should um, uh, go back to where... Is so. You, go, you open the door to go back to the sleeping carriage, and mm. there waiting for you is the conductor. Or at least an ice sculpture in the shape no! of the conductor. No! What? 
never go back to the scene of the crime. Oh, I mean, wait. Never mind. What? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Maybe it was him, and he's trying to throw us off the seat. <laughs> it's a fair gamble. You know in CSI, they talked to the first person, and then the second person, and then the third, and then it turned out to be the first person? No, I don't know. No, that's why I stopped watching it. <laughs> <laughs> well, is, it, is anything changed about the room? Let me, oh, what, what on earth? Does he happen? have another two holes on his neck? Yes, he does. And furthermore, he is crouching down as if he was looking at something. Oh. Is there anything what? there? Yes. Which, wait, which direction is he facing? Like, is there anything in front of him? Or is he, like, facing a wall? Is he looking at the carpet? What direction is he crouching? He's, and what is he looking at? Yeah. <laughs> what he can see, or what he was looking at, is um, a, like a centipede made of ice. But as you touch it, Ooh. it shatters. Oh. Seems it was just the shell of one. Like it melted. Exactly. What's this train called again? The Frostbend Express. Oh, okay, no, that's right. If, <laughs> remembering what it just looked like, were its teeth the right distance apart to make those holes? Make a nature roll. Eleven. Yes. <laughs> so we're looking for a, a, a caterpillar. A centipede. A centipede. Wait, a centipede, but it was also fro frozen, mm -hmm. right? It's, it seems to have malted its skin. Oh, as oh. As if it's getting bigger. Oh, that's not good. Well, we should look for footprints. Chances are well, he's got a hundred, so... <laughs> it's be a few. He's got to get sloppy. Sample. I know exactly where the footprints will lead. The air vent. Thank you, one person. <laughs> this yes. is how this thing's been getting around the carriages. The air vent uh, leads all the way down to the uh, frozen compartments at the end where the tongues are being stored. Ooh. Oh no. Should we go check out the tongues? Yeah. Where's the meat baron? Wait, did we put did we put sharp shank in with the tongues? Yes. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> it's already iced though, right? Y yes, that's right. Um where, where where is Bertie boy? Berkey boy. Burke? So he's back in the dining car. You go you go to <laughs> Uh, there's no more door. Um, I, uh, I, 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 uh, where are you? <sighs> what do you want? That. Oh. Um, uh, you, you answer some questions. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm doing this. <laughs> um, um, okay. What? So you're shipping tongues, eh? Anything else? Well, I was hoping to buy something. What? Well, I... Someone, someone contacted me and they had a, said they had the secret to uh, long-term freezing of my meat products. long -term. And where did they say that meat, you? Uh, bronze wall. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> At the train station. Long-term freezing of meat products. Okay, okay, okay. Did they, did, they, did they describe the method by which they would long-term freeze your meat? <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's just... Well, <laughs> 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 some kind of creature that could freeze things. Ah! Oh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so, just the question, Mr. Mr. Baron. Why are you now just mentioning this? What do you... This is a trade secret. Do you think this is going to make me rich? It might also make you dead. Yeah! <laughs> okay, folks, uh, we're going to take a break right now. <laughs> we'll be back in 10 minutes. Thank you. Welcome back, our adventurers. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Apple 
Norman? It must be a barbarian thing. What's the table made out of? Wood. Wood. <laughs> like his cousin. Aww. Aww. Why would you <laughs> say that? <laughs> oh, God! It's okay, buddy. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> Uh, so, let's just quickly recap where we are. Our adventurers are aboard the Frostbend Express. They were hired as a bodyguard uh, to Elby Sharpshank, the halfling. Um, but we found it so You messy. very quickly failed at that job, as he was, it seems, um, turned to ice by some kind of ice centipede. We pick up the story now. The... Four of you have gone down to the refrigerated carriages where, of course, Bert Carter keeps all of the frozen tongues that he's shipping to Bronzewood. <laughs> he has sent his butler with you to keep an eye on you so that you don't steal any of his tongues. The butler is, of course, keeping a very close eye on you, Limpet, yeah. since you tried to snatch off his hat earlier. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no! <laughs> But before we, <laughs> before we open the door to that carriage, uh, we haven't really had a chance to see all... That's very funny. <laughs> we haven't had a chance to see all the length of the carriage. So, Andrew, are we okay? Um, what I would like is some suggestions of, uh, if we think of a very luxurious train carriage, uh, with lots of different carriages. What are some of the carriages that might be on this train that makes it special? The smoking lounge. The smoking lounge. Kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched Snowpiercer as That's well. That's fancy. Yeah. <laughs> Exotic animals. Ex oh. Exotic dances. <laughs> I want to go to that carriage. Exotic sauna room. No, sorry, what was that last one? Exotic sauna room. The sauna. Ah. The sauna could be really useful. Uh, house club. The what, house club? House, house oh, house club. The house club? Where they play house, Where they play house yeah. music? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the exotic dance room as well. Um, all right. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get a chance to visit some of those. All right. Everyone take a drink. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> no, thank you for doing that, though. You take a deep breath and you push open the door to the refrigerated carriage. And you let your breath out and you can see it fog in front of you. Inside. A ghost. I'm a dragon. <laughs> cool, I'm a piece of wood. <laughs> Inside, you can see... Hanging, hanging from hooks, enormous uh, frozen tongues. We meet again, Salty. <laughs> but, covering the floor, dozens <laughs> and dozens of diamonds. Diamonds oh. as big as a halfling's head. A. Uh, clustered onto the floor. Are Wait. they really diamonds? Uh, you, okay, so, uh, Daisy, you reach down to pick some up. Mm -hmm. As you reach your hand, uh, to grab one, it starts to crack. The, oh, no. the to be clear, the diamond starts to crack. The um, diamond starts I, to crack. I have mending. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spell, and I mend it. Okay, yes, you, so you reach, you reach a diamond, it starts to crack, and then suddenly those <gasps> cracks heal back up again. As that is happening, all of the others crack. <laughs> But just the but pieces start to fall off, <laughs> and out of those come ice centipedes. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, okay. Oh no! <laughs> the diamonds around them uh, disintegrate. The eggs, shall we say, uh, disintegrate, leaving only these wriggling, writhing centipedes. Their their little icy antennas sense the vibrations in the carriage, and then. They all turn towards you. This isn't good. Just don't move. Okay, I'll just... Yeah, move! No, we should move! 
The, uh, the butler who was standing just behind you uh, slams the door shut and bolts. Oh. <gasps> Bounces and runs or bolts the door? <laughs> <laughs> Both. No! Oh. What a dick. <laughs> so you are now locked in this room. There are 20 ice centipedes. Oh, 20. And of course, uh, you know, it's hard to get an exact count with all of the, what with all the tongues. Uh, um, I throw myself back against the door. Okay, you're going to try and knock the door down? Yeah. All right, uh, roll athletics. Mm. Um, can I enhance ability on that? Yes. Oh. Great. I'm casting enhance ability. Um, you have bull's strength. Advantage on strength. <laughs> <laughs> Surely this has no effect on me. Oh, do you want it to have no I, I, effect on I, 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 I do, I do, I do, I do. I want it. I want it okay, real bad. What it do? Uh, advantage Give on it to strength. Me. Okay, so advantage, roll two dice. Oh, baby. For an hour. Wow. All right, well, buckle up. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to roll, roll for the dice. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, oh. Um, is this athletics? It is athletics, yeah. Eleven. All right. Um, you know, with incredible force, you throw yourself against the door, but you actually miss the door. So, like, you really you put a dent in the wall of the um, the carriage, but it doesn't. Open the I door. whirl around without looking at my handiwork. It's impenetrable! <laughs> we can't leave! We're trapped! I go to start a slow clap, but then I remember when I threw the axe and I just give Daisy a, a pat on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like now's not the time to be calming barbarians down. <laughs> I think you should all roll initiative because you're about to be attacked by a bunch of centipedes. Oh, snap. 20. 17. 15. I got two again. (laughs) (laughs) Alright. Minus two, zero. Again, this seems appropriate. Uh, Alright, so Daisy, we start with you and we're going to go this way and loop around. So. Um, I, uh, I, I sit there going... Stupid, stupid daisy, stupid. Aww. That's all I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I, w- I want you to roll a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> and Norman, if you can give him a piece of advice, then he'll have advantage on it. Um. <clears throat> I come up behind him and I massage his large deltoids. <laughs> <laughs> and then I climb up his back to whisper in his ear. <laughs> I go, Daisy, do you remember what they taught you at barbarian school? It's not about the strength of your muscles, but your muscle of strength. And I touch his heart. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, let's see how effective that is. <laughs> uh, two, mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so you go. Oh, 20. <laughs> yes, you feel a, a warmth suffuse your chest uh, out in, into your muscles. Uh, you feel reinvigorated. <laughs> optimistic about your chances ah. um, as you are then attacked by a swarm of centipedes. <laughs> um, I would actually... Or do they go next? Yes, they do. Oh, this makes it way harder. I would like you all to make dexterity saving throws as you try and uh, leap out of the way. Oh, of this is not going to go well for me. How's the three, Brendan? I just roll one. Yeah. Okay. I get to roll two. Yeah. I've got nine. Nine? I think one. Three. Is, Twelve. It, it's right. dicks down. Oh, it's dicks. Um, so, yeah. Oh, so it's less than nine. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 
So it's ten minus two. So it's seven, eight. Uh, hey, a piece of wood. Daisy, what did math. you get? Uh, Eighteen. Eighteen. All right. Yes, you, uh, with this renewed confidence, you easily sidestep uh, out of the way, slapping the centipedes to the side. Um, limpet, <laughs> you take shelter behind a tongue, and they kind of like bong, bong, bong into the fleshy uh, substance of the tongue. Uh, Norman, Brendan, I rolled a three. Oh, sorry. That, <laughs> yeah. Whatever I just said applies to Norman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, limpet and Plank, uh, you are both bitten by centipedes. Oh. But, oh, wait, does that hurt me? Yes, to it does. Maybe tickles a little bit? Um, they... <laughs> no, okay, no, no, yep, no, never mind. You, f- you feel a kind of liquid sensation uh, infusing your fibres. Uh, oh no! Am I being frozen? Which then starts to freeze. Oh no! Can I suck the venom out? <laughs> <laughs> I've got resistant to cold, you see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, well, we'll deal with that on your turn. Okay. Um, limpet, um, so... Uh, plank, plank and Limpet, you both take six damage. Okay. Cold damage. Yeah. Um, and since it's your turn now, I want you to make a constitution saving throw. Eleven. <laughs> All right. Uh, you you are bitten on the left leg, and you start to feel a cold sensation spreading out from the bite. Ugh, I might have to take that off. Um. <laughs> 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 well, not now. No, no, no. For now, is it my turn? It's your turn. Okay. Um. Well, I'm gonna know the rules for a bit. Um. I'm gonna cast a shatter. Um. And I'm gonna use ra- No. Um. Channel divinity, so it does max damage. Um, how many, how many, uh, centipedes can I get in a ten foot radius sphere? Uh, so I'd say about, well, the sphere around you, or do you need to be out of the sphere? Uh, I'd like to be out of the sphere. (laughs) (laughs) I, I think you can get about half of them. Okay, I'll do it then. Okay. So it's, uh, 3d8, but they're all eights, so it is... Oh no, 24? Okay, and uh, so what does this look like as it um, destroys the centipedes? Um, just everything going... Um, and like, I guess shards of their diamond eggs are going to be put flung into everything. And <laughs> it's yes. horrifying. I see shrapnel fires everywhere and there's this sickening like thock sound as they... Penetrate into these tongues. <laughs> um, the the surviving centipedes uh, regroup and they skitter up around the sides. Yeah, that's of right. The group carriage. together. Sorry, I, they spread out no. around the sides. <laughs> uh, plank. I could either try and suck out the venom, or I could uh, try and attack the centipedes. Um, which would you prefer? What? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Say that again. <laughs> I was freaking out about my turn, but it's okay. You've got, you've got cold centipede venom coursing yes. through your fibres. Yes. Do you do? Should I suck it out, or should I attack the cat of centipedes? Um, I think attack the centipedes. I might take my chances with having a good constitution. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. I guess I won't know till I try. I take out my soft rope. Um, it could just say rope. This is 50 know. foot. Oh, 50 foot. That's a wiggly five. As it, it is, as you pick it up, a very soft rock <laughs> that happens to be 50 feet long. I 
thought that was weird that you had to explain it. Um, I want to I want to get one of them and kind of keep it. I don't know what I'll do with it. I'll either use it to attack the others or I'll I'll milk its fags and make an anti venom. But look, that's later Norman's job. I just want to get one of them. Okay, and what are you lassoing it? I think that's probably my best bet. <laughs> All right, I think this is not the first time that you've lassoed something. I, I did that anchor last time. I flicked the anchor and went with it. Okay, so I think I, you, you can use your thrown weapon. Uh, All right. right. Okay. Aim for underneath the mandibles. You want to get a nice protrusion coming out of the head and make sure it's secure. <laughs> did you hear that? <laughs> uh, 17. Yes. Woo! So you managed to... Um, you, you have, at the end of your soft, soft rope, uh, a, a wriggling ice centipede. Okay, I grab it behind the head and kind of point the danger side away from me. <laughs> and then I, I stop. That's it. That's me. Okay. Thank you. Oh, no. Start by making a constitution saving throw. Do that first. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Please don't. <laughs> what is it? Nick it's made special oh! custom rolling trays. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh sorry, yes. Is it a, it's a it's 20 plus 4, 24. It's a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> you you momentarily flash back to back in the workshop. <laughs> the craft the craftsman who made you. Um, thinking for a moment and then deciding, yes, I will put that extra protective layer of resin on. <laughs> and that's what saves you now. I mean What, okay. You have time to act now. Ah, uh, um, uh, how many centipedes are left? There's about ten. Okay. Um, it's not salt, it's snails, isn't it, that die from salt? <laughs> salt is bad for ice. Ah, I turned myself into a salt grinder. <laughs> a wooden one! Salt grinder. It doesn't mean you manifest salt. <laughs> it could. <laughs> Do you feel that just the sight of a salt grinder will intimidate them? I may not fill with salt. Can you turn into salt? Damn it, no. <laughs> um, okay, I turn myself into a giant rolling pin <gasps> and I say to Daisy, Daisy! You must squish them. And we're going to roll, roll the centipedes. That's my plan. Yep. Okay. Got it. You turn into the rolling pin. Daisy, you have the rolling pin. <laughs> Just kill them. Oh. You're going to like grab your feet. Wheelbarrow me. <laughs> <laughs> It's, a, it's an amazing plan. Um, I will tell you what, can I get, just get you all to roll, and we'll just look at the, how... I think it's going to be a success, but I want to see uh, exactly how successful it is. What are we, what are we rolling? Just, ro just roll the dice. Oh, yeah. right. 18. Inspiration time. Do I get any edit at all to that? Mm. I flipped it as though it would be different on the other side. <laughs> 17. 17, 18, 11. 11. <laughs> so, working together as a, for the first time as a team, as a cohesive unit. Um, <laughs> I like this story arc. You, you, you roll around the carriage, flattening <laughs> centipedes, the tongue slapping out of your way. <laughs> Until there's nothing but tinkly little piles of ice. <laughs> and one centipede. Oh, and the one that you're still holding. Um, <laughs> with that, you, you're then able to, to push open the door. 
Uh, and as you open the door... We're, we're good, we're good, Plank. This, that, that was sweet. <laughs> yeah, that was actually awesome. That was pretty cool. <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was cool. <laughs> I'm definitely a lone wolf in most situations, but that was awesome. That was pretty cool. <laughs> that was very good. Yes. Sorry. As you open the door, you see the butler who is caught uh, momentarily pulling the pen that is connecting your carriage to the rest of the train. <laughs> I don't really blame him, like, (laughs) what a nightmare carriage. (laughs) He freezes in place. (gasps) We missed one! (laughs) (laughs) He holds still for a moment. He looks down at the pen, up at you, down at the pen, up at you. I punch him in the face. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Were you aiming for his head? <laughs> I'm returning the favour from earlier. <laughs> okay, uh, roll roll your attack. Come on, a bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a two. Yes, a two, Brendan. <laughs> good idea. I used it <laughs> for the wheelbarrow <laughs> and got an eleven. <laughs> Worth it. Worth it. He. <laughs> He, uh, he smirks at you, he pulls the pin no, out, no. Uh, and then uh, pauses, and then looks up above you, and freezes. <laughs> In shock. <laughs> by, by what he sees. Oh no. And then he freezes. <laughs> as some kind of venom uh, hits him, turning him to ice. You look... <laughs> <laughs> you look up above you and you see uh, well if you you'd have to lean out of the carriage and up <laughs> perched on top of the carriage now almost the same size as the carriage is the ice centipede, that first one that has been growing and molting while you've been distracted by these baby ones. Oh no! (laughs) And at that moment, the two carriages start to separate. I I have an idea. Quickly, I'm a plank, put me between the two carriages and walk across. Okay, you drop, uh, you drop plank uh, across the across the gap, <laughs> <laughs> and the three of you uh, run delicately uh, across. Um, pick me up, pick me up. Pushing, pushing past the the frozen butler who drops to the to the side and shatters. Ugh. Oof. Oof. The carriage behind you starts to move away, but before it does, the centipede on its roof leaps across. Oh no. And lands on the roof of the carriage. Damn it! it. Damn it! The way you did that was kind of slow motion. Can I like pot shot into its underbelly with a crossbow? Okay. Yeah. Um. (laughs) Ten. No. It just bounces off. <coughs> when a crash, it lands on the roof. Uh, as you move inside this carriage, you see that you are in the um, smoking carriage. <laughs> uh, yes, it's lined with pipes. Uh, now, uh, what do you do? Run! <laughs> All right, so you start running down the, uh, along the carriage. Is everyone following? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, I want you to make athletics checks to see if you can keep ahead of it. Someone's going to have to pick me up. Oh, no. Uh, 15. Oh. 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 Three. <laughs> 13. 12. Um, I'm, uh, I, I, if I see Plank lagging behind, I'm going to... He, yeah. she, they? What's your pronouns? <laughs> Whatever, just, what, it's honestly, just... The, he I'm going to pick she. Plank up. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing Plank lag behind like this. Um, Daisy just going, oh, and then 
um, picks them up. So I can... Thank you! All right, you make it uh, a couple of carriages, but Norman's getting a bit tired, and you have to pause in the exotic dancing carriage. <laughs> <laughs> leaning, leaning against the pole to try and catch your breath. <laughs> the, the house music blaring. <laughs> Uh, you think, ah, oh, that must be the, the beat of the house music, but no, it's the sound of claws peeling off the roof of the carriage. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> then the door uh, to the, the carriage opens, and you see um, Burke Carter in his wheelchair. And he says, um, Throw me the centipede. Have you seen it? It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> Not that one, that one. You'll get bit. It's worth, it a, lot, it's worth a lot of money no, to No, this is good. He wants to make cold things. No, I'm, you'll just let us go. No, no. I'm sorry. Uh, how about I throw you me? <laughs> uh, make a persuasion roll. Uh, 16. Hop on. <laughs> I put the centipede down, I still hold on to the rope, and then I pick myself up and throw me. <laughs> you land on the back of his wheelchair, um, which starts accelerating along the carriage. With this uh, extra bit of speed, uh, and with you carrying plank, uh, you're able to, to make it back to the uh, dining carriage. How's my leg doing? Oh, good question. Yeah. You're, you're definitely starting to limp. <laughs> <laughs> if you like, I can make both legs the same. <laughs> no, this, this kind of works. There's definitely a bluey tinge to your leg now. There always was. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Good. It's all fine. <laughs> Uh, Alright, uh, you are now, you've made it back to the dining carriage where the other passengers uh, that have survived are waiting. Has anyone else died since we've been away? <laughs> no. Okay, that's cool. So, uh, Dame, Dame Bow the Dow Drow Dowager from Bow Tower is there. <laughs> Mary's there. Uh, and Father Cloud is there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Oh, I insist that you do something about this. You're drunk. <laughs> oh no, that was. I thought that was Father Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm drunk. And what of it? This is good whiskey. Um. Uh, da- um. Daisy says, Enough of these wild accusations. Put your hands up, murderer! And points at the maid. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, you heard me. And I realise that just now you have developed an immunity to the centipede poison. That's why you're completely blue. <laughs> I- I'm blue and it's messing me up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but look, she's completely not frozen. She's been taking micro doses of centipede <laughs> venom to make herself able to handle these things. And now she's peddling them off to to meat barons. Excuse me, miss, are you also a water genasi? I'm, 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 I'm an ice boy. Like, you, you know, you, you, you met a whole bunch of my relatives? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> And for the record, I'm not a murderer yet. And then she reaches into her handbag and pulls out her crossbow. <gasps> oh and, no! And points it at Dame Bower. <gasps> you, you will not stop my marriage from going ahead. I love your son. <gasps> This is a plot twist. <laughs> I want to save the day, but Wait. also I fully get where she's coming from. Uh, 
<laughs> what are you going to do? Um, I think, can, Daisy, can you pick me up and just like hit her over the head with me? Is that bad? Is that bad? <laughs> it's a bit bad. Uh, but just, just like a softly. But no, I don't, I don't lost my voice. Um, enough to kind of like knock her out maybe. Just this little knock. Just till we sort out what to do. Oh uh, yeah, one of those one of those concussions that doesn't really do anything. <laughs> maybe oh wait. Maybe I become wait. Okay. I've got it. I'm gonna turn into a giant crate and then we're gonna push her into the crate and then shut her inside me. I feel like she's like she's not a threat, right? She's got a crossbow. Oh, the maid. Yes. The maid. Oh, yes. The I'm talking about the maid. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not the dowager. Right. Not the dowager. Yeah. The maid. Yeah. I'm just trying to like, you know, contain till we sort out the centipede thing. Sure. I um, I kind of admit this. I'm, I kind of look at Norman. I'm like, now's your moment. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. Do you like it? Mean. Yeah, but she's got a crossbow. To <laughs> no, that, oh, yeah, exactly. Are you a hero or not? <laughs> oh, I, I thought you'd be making my move. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, for the record, was and uh, was implying that. <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh. Use that muscle of strength. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I look at the dame and I look at the maid and I, I sympathise with both of them and I take my um, uh, centipede and I throw it um, uh, aiming at the maid's hand hoping just to get the crossbow hand. Alright, uh, make, your, make your attack and um, because you, this is inspired by the power of love I'll give you advantage. So at least like Sometimes I am Oh, yeah, definitely. I'll need that. That was a five. There's a twenty! <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, do you want to describe what happens? It happens exactly how you want it to. Um, I look at the centipede. The centipede nods. Like... <laughs> <laughs> It's been a short while, but we've formed a clinic. It's that soft road. <laughs> <laughs> I turn it around, I kind of straighten it up, make it a bit rigid. I ply open, <laughs> I kind of ply open those mandibles <laughs> and then turn them on the sides so and add it like that to just kind of get the arm like that. And then I remember what my PE teacher told me. You <laughs> hold your other hand out to point where you want it to go, and then I throw the centipede. It flies perfectly through the air, uh, snapping the string on her crossbow. Oh. Um, and the, the bolt falls as harmlessly to the ground as your throwing axe did earlier. <laughs> The maid drops the, the crossbow and goes over and sits next to Father Cloud and takes a drink of his whiskey. I guess I don't need to be a crate anymore. <laughs> it was a good idea. Thanks. It was a crate idea. <laughs> Is there a... Well, thank, thank you, young man. <laughs> oh, no, no, wait, no, no. <laughs> I did have a bit of inspiration. <laughs> I fear I fear our reprieve is only temporary, since there appears to be a giant ice centipede clawing at the roof of this carriage. Yeah, of course. That's <laughs> <clears throat> Is there any heroes who might save us from this creature? I'll give it a go. <laughs> I can think of four. I could try and Tell it to buzz off. <laughs> have a vicious mockery and Tasha's hideous laughter, so I could have a go. <laughs> All right, so. So my like, oh, my feelings are so hurt. <laughs> it's claws dig into the side of the carriage. It starts to peel off the roof, and it's uh, uh it's almost seems to be peering in at you for a moment, deciding which of you to turn into ice first. Plank, what do you say? 
Um, do I need to roll anything? I'd like to hear what you have to say okay, first. Okay, first. <sighs> Roses are red. Violets are blue. Your mom sucks and so do you. <laughs> I have an inspiration chip. What's it? <laughs> Can you read what the effect of vicious mockery is? Um, yes. Um, it's inspiration, is it? Wisdom save, it does 1d4 damage. Oh. Is, that, is that right? Really pulling out the big guns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, the full force of that insult really hits, hits this... Centerpiece. Uh, I'm pretty vicious. <laughs> I'm a vicious piece. Also gives him disadvantage on attacks. That's, thank okay. you. Um, thank you. Clearly, I don't know as much as you. Um, uh, um, I'm ready. Um, um, from within my great big leather cloak, I pull out a two-handed flaming great sword. <laughs> Yes, you do have one of those. <laughs> now you pull that out. <laughs> We've been fighting ice monsters all afternoon, and now you pull that out. To be out. fair, I forgot I had it. <laughs> I did loot this rather recently. Um, I flop that. The fire sword. Yes. I'm going to stand, like, over there. Uh, how high up is it? Uh, okay, I guess the, the roof is, like, ten feet above you. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're most of the way there, being so tall. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, uh, great, yeah. Um, I, Can I suggest? There's a ladder going up the side of the carriage. Why don't you get up there and face it? Hoo. 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 How many seconds did that take? <laughs> the wind whistles by you oh, as you stand on top of the speeding train, uh, staring down this giant ice centipede. Oh, I, I think you have advantage because of the bull strength still going. Oh! Double bull strength, yes. <laughs> Get, oh, do you need, I was going to say, do you need some bardic inspiration, but it doesn't matter. It wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt. Okay. Um, so he's a tough guy, likes to play a tough guy, thinks he's really buff guy, just always a buff guy. I'm that bad type, make your mom a sad type, make your girlfriend mad type, might seduce your dad type, kill the bad guy. <laughs> Um, does, what does that do? I want you to make your attack with advantage. Yes. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Twenty. <laughs> Describe your attack. Uh, I've hoofed it up the ladder. Um, uh, wind is whistling past me on the top of this train carriage. I um, I go into a, a, a stampede, um, and um, you know what? Freaking hell! Um, I I can uh, the the red of the flaming sword. Um, I use my barbarian's rage, um, and my muscles go even bigger. I'm twice as big as I usually am. <laughs> Um, I, uh, I'm leaving just big hoof marks in the train room. Uh, the sword's in my teeth because I'm on overs. And then I, I, as I'm near the seat to beat, I kind of like slam on the brakes and then swivel so that the blade just goes. Uh, I'm just aiming to like cut right through them um, with my flaming double handed great sword. You slice into the centipede with your. Uh, with, there's a sizzling sound as it cuts through the ice. Uh, Steam flying everywhere. The, the centipede rears up uh, and it seems like it is about to slam down and attack you in return. But at that moment, the train goes through a tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
scraping the top of your horns. Oh, oh, oh. oh that, that really hurts. Throwing up sparks. Uh, the, the centipede uh, is sent flying down the side of the mountain. You return to the carriage. Safe at last from this centipede. Oh. I've, I've got a wacky idea. I've got a herbalism kit and you've got a tame centipede. Do you think we could make an antidote? I don't see why not. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? Um, working together and with the, the insight that you gain... <laughs> Holding it so close to your nipple. <laughs> I'm holding onto my arm and I'm just milking it. You are able to discover an antidote uh, you inject it into your leg and it returns to, from blue to its natural blue. And now I go over to Albie, who is like partially reformed with my eyes on the Okay, I'm just going to have to let the dice decide on this one. <laughs> I don't uh, know what I want the result to be here. <laughs> Uh, it, it just shatters to, to the ground. Oh. Uh, Albie was too far gone to be saved. Oh no. Plus, he was a true friend. But as he falls to the ground, uh, his, his purse of gold does spill out. And uh, you see that the, the rest of your advances... Uh, I thought they got stolen. No, the egg got stolen. No, the diamond was... The, the egg never egg. got stolen, it just hatched. Yeah. Oh. Yes, it yeah, it stole dead. itself. <laughs> <laughs> As the train uh, wins its way towards Bronze Wall, is there anything that you would like to say? Um... <laughs> I want to go to the um, the the sky worshiper, and I want to say, "Look, here's a little bottle, and I think it's got what you really need in it." And I take his whiskey away and give him this bottle. What's in the bottle? Find out. <laughs> Expect him to just drink it. Yeah. He's in a dark place. <laughs> he drinks it. It's seawater. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the first step on your journey. <laughs> <laughs> well, Norman, I suppose I owe you my life. Oh, well, no, look, look, I've just really enjoyed actually being in your company. Um, like I've got a family at home that I need to get back to. It's been lovely to meet you and your maid, whom of which I haven't learned her name. Her name's Mary, and uh, oh, she did right. try to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> but I suppose... I suppose I've learned something from you, Norman, about the power of love. <laughs> Maybe I should have been using this muscle as well. Oh, 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 the Drow Dowager will be waiting for you. <laughs> oh, I know she will. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, our adventure comes to an end. A big round of applause for all our adventures. <laughs> um, who suggested the Ooh. exotic dancer carriage? Um, <laughs>
I have this graphic novel for you. Um, uh, Norman, could you pass that over? Um, thank you very much to Comic Compulsion, our sponsor for that. Can we give him a round of applause? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Comic Compulsion. Oh, and the word is original. Um, thank you so much for coming along, everyone. Uh, tickets are already on sale for our next show, which is next month, whenever that is. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's next May. month. Next month is it's, it's in May. Um, so please come along and join us. Then see how the adventure continues. Uh, a big thank you to Andrew Keppel. <laughs> Michael Bowen Williams. And our amazing adventurer, Phoebe Hurst. Phoebe Hurst, Phoebe Hurst.